What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to discuss whether the Kansas City Chiefs are truly the best team in the AFC. All that and much more coming your way right now! Hey Trash Talkers, over 85% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications as it will help us create more daily content for you. Thank you and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, as we get closer and closer to the end of the season, there is a new leader atop the AFC standings right now, and that being the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs, who are just a season removed from being the Super Bowl representatives for the AFC and now find themselves as the number one seed heading into the playoffs right now. Obviously, still things can change, and... Who knows, especially with the players that they currently have out on the COVID-19 reserve list. Maybe they lose some spots in the standings, but that's neither here nor there. Fully healthy right now are the Kansas City Chiefs truly the best team in the AFC. Well, I'm going to have to say no, unfortunately. I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs, they, they started out rough and, and they've really climbed their way back and they've and they've proven that they can be atop the AFC even when things are not going great for them. They can still pull it out. But if we're saying they're at full strength, then we got to say everybody else is at full strength. And when they are facing every other full strength team, I don't even know if they're in the top five of the AFC because the Kansas City Chiefs have just struggled with the schemes that they're running on both sides of the ball, their chemistry, it's just not there. The players are there, you, you've got Chris Jones, you've got Tyron Matthew, and then obviously you've got all those guys on the offense, but these, they just have not put it together with the guys to the left of them and the guys to the right of them. They cannot seem to work in cohesion to, to really work as a unit. Steve Spagnuolo has done an incredible job later in the season really getting his team to do what he needs them to do. But they have not seen a lot of strong competition in the second half of the season where they've had all their success. When they struggled in the first half of the season, that's where we saw it. And if I'm saying that they have to face those same teams again towards the end of the season into the playoffs, I just don't think the Kansas City Chiefs can get the job done. They have a lot of talent. They're just not playing up to their standard at this time. Wow, uh, I didn't expect that at all. Um, okay, so... I guess the question is, you, you talk about the standard and the Chiefs and kind of like, you know, where they expect to be. And I mentioned in the open that they're just a season removed from being in the Super Bowl as the AFC representative. Obviously, they got trounced. I mean, absolutely obliterated by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in that game. Do you think that's had a lingering effect on how they've played this season so far? Like, have they lost a bit of their confidence, both on offense and defense, as the season's gone on? Maybe they've started to repair it a little bit, but do, do you see any reverberations from that Super Bowl loss coming into the season? Yeah, I, I really don't think that what happens in the Super Bowl has lingered over into the regular season this year. The Kansas City Chiefs have just faced some strong competition and Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, those guys have to always be consistent when Patrick Mahomes is throwing them the ball. Otherwise, you see the defense start to crumble. They need the motivation from the offense to play well and they didn't have that early on and somehow they were able to find it when the Chiefs offense continued to struggle in the last few games. But the Kansas City Chiefs have just seen a lot of struggle. It's not the same thing as what we saw the Carolina Panthers go through after their loss in the Super Bowl back in 2015. It's, it's a different kind of struggle they're going through. So I'm not going to say it's related to the Super Bowl. It's not a Super Bowl hangover. But I think that the Kansas City Chiefs players are just below where they're playing. And I think that the coaching staff is finally figuring out a way to get them back in the right picture. I just don't know if at the end of the day, they have what it takes to compete against the rest of the top AFC teams. Okay. Um, you said full strength. That requires everybody else to be at full strength when you talk about it. You said you don't even think they're top five 
I mean, I got I got to ask the question, who are those top five teams that you would put ahead of them? Yeah, so I'm definitely putting the New England Patriots in front of them, the Buffalo Bills, the Baltimore Ravens, and the Tennessee Titans. I would say those are easily the top four teams, but then I'm looking at teams like the Cleveland Browns even. I'm saying that they're in front of them. I'm saying that the Cincinnati Bengals at full strength are a stronger team, and we'll get to see that matchup in a couple weeks. But I think that there are even more teams, if we continue to dissect them, that we could say are just a little bit better than the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs have the best talent in all the right places, but if one of those pieces is not working on any given week, the whole picture falls apart. Nothing is working, and we've seen that this season way too much. I just think when you compare each of these teams, the Kansas City Chiefs are just falling down a little bit further than that top five in the AFC. Okay. All right. So we, we've talked a lot in the hypothetical sense of every team being fully healthy and kind of where we expect them to be and uh, all of that, right? Right now, are they the best team in the AFC? Standings aside, do you think that they are currently the best team in the AFC? Yeah, I think that the Kansas City Chiefs are the best team currently. When you look at the way they're playing, they they have had some, some nice success lately, and specifically on the defensive side of the ball. Even without Chris Jones, their best defensive player, they have still figured out a way to squeak out some wins. It's It's been close victories, but they're able to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters, how many wins you have. The Kansas City Chiefs have the most wins, and recently they've proven them that they can handle any circumstance given to them. I'm going to take them as the best team in the AFC currently. All right. I mean, they can't play the Broncos. They can't play the Raiders every single week when it comes to the playoffs. Do you think that there's a team that can upset them in the playoffs right now? Like in when you currently look one through seven, I guess two through seven, is there a team that you say that team is poised to beat the Kansas City Chiefs? I would say there's a couple teams that could give them a lot of trouble. I would start off with the Tennessee Titans. Now, I'm not even going to speculate if Derrick Henry's going to be there or not, but the Tennessee Titans defense has been highly underrated. I would expect the Kansas City Chiefs to do the same thing because that's just how they tend to play these situations. They don't necessarily put their 110% into scheming against every single team every week. They do take some games off. I would expect that against the Tennessee Titans. And then for the Tennessee Titans offense to to absolutely explode because Mike Vrabel knows how to coach his team in the hardest of situations. When you don't think they have a chance, they're going to compete their asses off and they're going to really give you a run for their money. So the Tennessee Titans are a team I'm looking out for. And then I'm also looking at the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. These teams have had their struggles, but we saw the Buffalo Bills go and demolish almost double the Kansas City Chiefs score earlier this season. And if the New England Patriots had played the Kansas City Chiefs in the regular season, we would have seen nearly the same thing. The New England Patriots rarely beat them themselves and of course it happened this past week against the Indianapolis Colts but it rarely happens and I don't think that Bill Belichick with the history he has against Kansas City would ever let that happen again especially with a rookie quarterback to me those three teams are the ones I would say can go beat the Kansas City Chiefs right now all right so again we, we've done a lot of speculating we've done a lot of hypotheticals and you know, we, we, you've kind of said your piece. Now, I just want to ask one simple question before we get out of here. That being, in your heart of hearts, do you believe that the Kansas City Chiefs will be representing the AFC in the Super Bowl for a third straight season? I don't. I don't think the Kansas City Chiefs have what it takes to really compete against these teams. And we're speculating about some of these players, but we do know that Derrick Henry will be coming back at some point. And if he is back and playing to what he was earlier this season, then I think the Tennessee Titans are going to be the hardest team to face. No matter if they're away or home, they are going to be the team to beat. The Kansas City Chiefs just will not be able to stop what the Tennessee Titans have in store if Derrick Henry is available. Yeah, I, I think that you've made a lot of good points. And the reason that I haven't really given a lot of my speculation is because I, I'm very biased, right? I can't stand this team. I can't stand the Kansas City Chiefs. I think they're pompous. I think they're arrogant. And I think that there's a lot of issues with this team. And I mainly hate them because of Nick Wright on FS1. I just can't stand him. And he makes, the, he makes me hate them so, so much more. 
but I guess that's a different conversation for another time. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let us know in the comments down below if you believe the Kansas City Chiefs are currently the best team in the AFC and whether or not you think they will be representing the AFC in the Super Bowl. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.